Hey guys, Todd Helms and Hondo out here, bringing you a puppy update. While I got you here, drop down, mash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, turn on that notification bell, so you get great content every time we drop it. We are about week 12, week 13 with Hondo, really deep diving into obedience. Lots of place training or sending to place, an extended place, an extended sit. Stuff that's going to equate to steadiness in the field, in the duck blind. I've actually gotten Honda out on a couple of hunts. One waterfowl hunt where he, got a, where he did get to retrieve a, a Canada goose. And last weekend, on an antelope hunt, here in Wyoming, a lot of times you'll run into upland birds, chuckers and huns and things like that. Got into a couple groups of chuckers. I put Hondo on the ground not expecting anything. And... He ended up flushing five birds. I did not have a camera with me. We were hunting uh, antelope for my wife's tag and just happened to get into some upland birds, but he did phenomenal. The instincts in Hondo are incredible. Put him on the ground where the birds were, let him sniff around, and then we went to hunt him up where the covey had resettled, and he flushed five of those birds completely on his own, and I just let him hunt. We got here this morning to film this, and there was a rooster pheasant right here on the edge of the corn behind me. And uh, so I thought, why not? I put Hondo out, and sure enough, he got right on that bird. Now, this is a standing cornfield that's massive behind me. And I know pheasants being pheasants, they run like crazy. So I didn't let Hondo go completely on that bird, but I let him smell it, and he was all over it. That is 100% instinct, and I am excited because Hondo's not just going to be a duck dog. He's going to be an upland dog as well. So he's got to get some reps in with that. Looking forward to hunting season here. We're right around the 1st of November. It's just before Halloween. And the meat of our waterfowl season and upland bird hunting season is coming very shortly. I know, bud. Be quiet. We'll get you out in a second. So we're going to work on uh, kind of what we're looking at for week 12. More place work more heel work in the field, just really digging down deep into that obedience so that when it comes to hunting season, Hondo knows what he's supposed to do and he will obey in just about any scenario. He is wound up, he is ready to go. We went on our walk this morning and he's not even close to being tired or worn out. So let's get him out of the crate. Let's get him on the lead because we're in a new spot and I want him to have control of what we're doing. We'll take him off lead, see if we can get him to send to place, see how long we can get him to stay there as well. So let's do it. You ready, bud? Stay. Stay. Come here. Good boy. Okay. Heel. He's healing nicely on lead. I bet if I took him off, it might be a little bit of a different story because he's pretty wound up heel. But he loves to work and he knows his job. So I'm gonna work him kind of out through the alfalfa around maybe through the corn a little bit and see how he does. I'm not gonna take him off lead because honestly I know there's pheasants in this cornfield and I'm afraid if he takes off in that cornfield and gets on birds, I won't be able to control him. And that's not a scenario that I want to put him in. He's not ready for that yet. Plus, there is a highway on the other side of this, and he could end up all the way out there. Not a good deal. Make sure, hey, make sure when you're training that you are in new scenarios, in new situations like this for Hondo. He's never been here, but it's controlled. I'm not going to lose my dog on the highway. He's not going to run off. That's why he's on the lead right now, because we're just not quite there, are we, buddy? Let's heal. Heal. See, the nose is working pretty good. I'm actually going to take him over here where that pheasant was. Ha -ha. Heal. Okay, so we're going to work right up the edge of this cornfield where there have been deer, there have been birds. There's been all kinds of smells in here. And his nose is going crazy. But we're gonna to try to keep him engaged. Again, I'm still using the, click, the clicker in the treat, but we're starting to phase that out, um, getting to the point where we're just on straight obedience. But 
Uh, uh, sit. Sit. He can smell that bird, and that's what he's really after, which I love, but he's still got to be under control. Heal. He's not healing. Heal. Heal. There we go. Lots of deer tracks. A deer in here this morning. Heal. Hondo, sit. Heal. See that nose immediately goes to the ground. He's pulling a little bit. We're gonna heal into the corn. Make kind of a lap into the corn. Again, this is why I have him, this is why I have him on the lead. Because if he wasn't, he sit. Sit. Lots and lots of distractions out here. Heel. 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 Oh, good boy. Good boy. Heel. Hondo, heel. This is brand new for him. He's never done this. Heel. Heel. Oh, kind of got hung up. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to click and treat for that. That was pretty good. We're going to heal through this alfalfa, and we're going to go to place. Oh, good job. He's doing really well right now. I want his attention. Along that edge was where the bird was this morning when we pulled in. This is a lot better. Heel. Getting a little out front. It's funny, even around the house, he will heal when I'm doing yard work and walk with me. Sit. Good boy. When he follows me around the yard, he's at heel. He does really, really well around the house. Out here, it's different. We're not gonna be hunting around the house. We're gonna be hunting out here, and I need him under control out here. Again, I do not expect him to perform off the lead in this situation, so I'm not gonna take him off lead until we start working on place. We'll see how that goes. Heel. Okay, let's see if we can heal going down this road. So we're working on, obviously we're still working with the whistle. Heal, heal. Hondo, heal, right here. Heal. Will we also work, incorporate the hand signal? No, heal. Heel, heel, heel. I pat my leg too. There's some coyote, fresh coyote poop there. It looks like from this morning, that's what he's sniffing. Lots and lots of distractions. Good. We're gonna heel off lead here and see how this goes. Stay. Heel. I'm gonna keep his attention with the clicker. Heel. Not bad. Heel. Nope. See, he's automatically ready for the place board. Good boy. Place. Not quite. I'm gonna bring him back. Hopefully. Here. Hondo. Hondo come here. 
Hondo come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Not bad. No. Stay. Still working with hand signals. This means sit and stay. He's pretty solid on place most of the time. Hondo, come. Heel. Place. That's good. I'm going to click and treat for that. I want him sitting on the place board. You notice how he kind of jumps up, that butt comes off the ground. I want him sitting and staying. So we're gonna heel, and we're gonna to go to place from a different location. Heel. Place. On no heel. A little mixed up. Heel. Place. Not bad. Gonna click and treat for that. Again, Hondo's never been here. I want that butt down. Good boy. Stay. Hondo's never been here before. Lots of smells, lots of animals out here. Pheasants, deer, coyotes, all kinds of stuff to get him distracted. That nose is going a million miles an hour. We're also working on place at home with his bed. I trained Mackinac to say, I just say, get on your bed, and he goes and gets on his bed. With Hondo, I'm trying to keep it consistent with place. I never taught Mackinac place, just taught him where I put him, that's where he needs to be. The variation of it, but this is a little different. Hondo does place very well on his bed in the house. But again, controlled environment. We're gonna heel to the back of the truck and we're gonna go kennel up. Come on with us. Heel. Heel. bad. Hondo is uh, right around six months at this point, a little bit older than that. I'm pretty pleased with that. Again, uh, my training with him due to big game seasons and work responsibilities hasn't been at the level that I would like it to be. I do as much as I can. My wife does as much as I can as she can. Hondo is doing extremely well in my opinion, and we're going to continue to reinforce all of this obedience behavior and things like kenneling up, things like placing in lots of different scenarios. If this would have been a hunt and I was getting Hondo down to the river, I'd have had him on the lead the whole time until we got to where we were gonna be and then I would place. So here's another thought about place, which my head's already wrapping, trying to get wrapped around this for this coming duck season. I'm obviously not gonna hunt Hondo a lot, but I am gonna hunt him a little bit in very controlled situations. Me and a shooter, basically, is all it's gonna be. We don't have the luxury here of hauling down a place board or a dog blind or a Momarsh stand in every, in every place that we go, simply because a lot of the places that we walk into are a long ways. And we're not gonna haul that stuff all the way down there. 
so I'm wrap, trying to wrap my brain about how I'm going to do this with Hondo. With Mackinac, I just say, sit, stay, and he stays where I want him to be. And over time, he knows that the spots where we hunt consistently, he knows his place. I'm gonna have to be patient with Hondo in that, and I'm gonna have to be with him. I'm not gonna be able to be in the blind and have Hondo outside the blind like I do with Mackinac. I'm going to be outside the blind with Hondo, reinforcing place and making sure that this is your spot. This is where you're going to be. This is where you need to be while we are shooting. And that's kind of how I'm coming to terms with that. I'm excited to continue on with Cornerstone. We're gonna bump into week 13 this week um, and keep into week 13, 14 and keep progressing. I wasn't real comfortable moving much past week 12 at this point with Hondo because I haven't had as much time as I needed to work with him. And you can see once we add distractions in, he's not solid. He's just not quite where we want to be. Again, lots of smells. The pheasant doesn't help, but whatever. It is what it is. We got him out. We're going to continue to work. Don't let your work schedule and other commitments completely derail your training. Again, I haven't been as consistent as I want, but I'm not quitting, and I'm going to stay after it. So, hey, thanks for joining us on this update. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think, any ideas you may have, and check out Cornerstone Gundog Academy for more great tips on training. If you've got a dog that you need to brush up on or you're starting a puppy, it's a great curriculum. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you in the field.